Hi, this section will help with the understanding of date data type in Tableau. We will discuss the data types supported in Tableau. The focus will be on date data type. We will discuss dimensions and measures. We will look at discrete and continuous fields. With respect to date, we will discuss date parts and date values. Data types in Tableau Number Decimal Number decimal is the floating type or real number. It is advisable to round the floating point numbers when using it in calculations. Number whole is the integer data type. Date and time. Tableau allows for dates in varied formats. A string can also be treated as a date data type. In order to do this, prefix the string with a hash. Strings in Tableau are enclosed in single quotation marks. Boolean. Booleans are logical values. They take in values such as true and false. Dimensions and measures. Measures are what is to be analyzed, such as sales revenue or profit, etc. Measures are generally summarized or aggregated. The common aggregations are count, sum, average, minimum, maximum and standard deviation. Dimensions are along which the measures are being analyzed. Dimensions are used to slice or group the measures. Example, sales by region across years. Assume we have data for four years. Here, sales is the measure and region and order date are the dimensions. Discrete and continuous fields. Measures are continuous by default, but they can be converted to discrete if there is a need. We will see a demo wherein a continuous measure will be converted to discrete. Date data type. Date part. A date displayed as date part will constitute the access headers and the color legends become individual values. A date displayed as date value will form the axis itself and the color legends are displayed as gradients. We will have a detailed explanation of date part and date value in the demonstration. Let us look at a demo on dates in Tableau. We are working with data from samplesuperstore.xls. By default, some fields are read under dimensions and there are some fields which are placed under measures. The fields which contain quantitative or numerical information, that is, have the number date type, are placed under measures. For example, discount, profit, quantity and sales. Let us quickly have a look at the data types which are supported by Tableau. As you can see, we have number decimal, number whole, date and time, date, string and boolean. The fields which are placed under dimensions can be converted to measures. Likewise, the fields under measures can be converted to dimensions as well. For example, if I look at customer name, it can be converted to measure. Likewise, if I look at profit, it can also be converted to dimension. By default, the measures are called continuous because when you drag this on the rows or the columns shelf, they will form a continuous axis. But they can also be converted to a discrete type. Let us convert a dimension to measure. You can see that customer name now becomes a measure. It is appearing under the measures pane. We can revert this back to dimension. Likewise, I can convert a measure to dimension as well. And you can see that profit has now become a dimension. Again, as before, I can revert it to a measure. Let us do a simple demonstration wherein we will have a continuous measure converted to discrete. Now for this, I will drag subcategory and place it on the rows shelf. I will get sales and place it on the columns shelf. Let me sort the bars as per the descending order of sales. Let me get sales and place it on label on the marks card. Let me do a quick table calculation on some sales which is placed on label on the marks card. I'll go to quick table calculation and apply rank. Now 
my requirement is to get these ranks displayed as the leftmost column which means I want the rank to be the leftmost the very first column on my rows shelf how do I do this if I simply drag this sum sales and try placing it on the rows shelf it will get placed to the right of this dimension subcategory let me try this so I'll take this sum sales and I'm dragging and placing it on the rows shelf you can see that the insertion mark appears to the right of subcategory so even if I try dropping it here it appears on the right hand side of subcategory now this is not what I want I will revert back to the original state now in order to get this to be the leftmost column I will have to convert this measure to discrete in order to do this right click here and click on discrete now that this measure has become discrete I can easily drag it and place it on the rows shelf for it to become the leftmost column on the rows shelf so here you can see that ranks is displayed as the leftmost column followed by sub category so here was an example wherein a measure which was continuous by default was converted to discrete let me now look at a dimension order date the data type here is date now this can be further verified by coming here and you can see that the date data type is selected let me drag order date and place it on the columns shelf you can see that there is an automatic hierarchy which appears on order date so here it is year and we have data for four years 2011 2012 2013 and 2014 I can expand this and you can see that we are now displaying the quarters here so there are four quarters in each year Q1 Q2 Q3 and Q4 so usually the months January to March constitute Q1 April May and June constitute Q2 July August and September Q3 October November and December as Q4 but we are also aware that there are certain organizations and companies which may have the physical year starting from April we can change the physical year to start at a different month come to default properties and come to physical year start so by default this is given as January but if you want you can also have your physical year begin in April I will stick to having my physical year start in January I can further expand this to give me the months in each quarter this can be further expanded to give you day here we can also collapse this and you can see that we are back to year by default there is a hierarchy which applies on the order date let me drag the measure sales and place it on the rows shelf let me change the mark type to bar you can see that we have data for four years 2011 2012 2013 and 2014 let us try to understand this I will click here to bring up the drop down menu the year the quarter the month the day etc which is represented here are referred to as date parts what is represented here the year quarter month week number day etc are the date values and you can see that we have something called as exact date and we have two things here discrete and continuous let us try and understand this if you look at this year here it says 2015 which means there will be a bar for each year now in our case the measure is sales which means the sales are going to be aggregated as per the year now since we have data for four years you will see four bars here so irrespective of the month or the quarter the data for 2011 for the sales made on any day any month any quarter of 2011 will all be aggregated and will give you a bar likewise you will get a bar for 2012 2013 and 2014 if I change this date part to quarter now we have only four quarters in each year which is Q1 Q2 Q3 and Q4 so when I say quarter irrespective of the year all the data which belongs to Q1 are aggregated and placed here this bar which represents Q1 has the sales amount aggregated for Q1 of 2011 Q1 of 2012 Q1 of 2013 and Q1 of 2014 
Likewise, this bar which represents Q4 sales has the sales amount aggregated for Q4 across the years. So Q4 sales of 2011 plus the Q4 sales of 2012 plus the Q4 sales of 2013 plus the Q4 sales of 2014 and so on. Another thing to notice here is when you have the date part, year, quarter, month or day selected, they will constitute the axis header as you can see that here. I can change this further to give you month and you can see that we'll have 12 bars which is very evident because we have 12 months January to December. So here again the January sales of 2011, 2012, 2013 and 2014 have been summed up and this gives you the aggregated amount for January across the year. Likewise for all the other months as well. Let us change this to date value year. Let me change the mark type to line. It is easy to understand with a line graph. So you see four points here, one for 2011, another for 2012, one for 2013 and another for 2014. Let's try and understand date values with the help of an example. I will take a date like this. The year is 2002, the month is May, the day is 11, the hours is 12, the minutes is 05 and the seconds is 11. If I happen to choose the date value year, this is what will happen. So I'll take this date and only the year will remain and the remaining portion will be struck off. We say it will be truncated. If I choose the month date value, the date would be given as this. So here we have the year and the month. So this will be struck off. If I happen to go with year, month and day date value, my date will read as this. So this portion of hours, minutes and seconds will not be considered. Likewise for year, month, day and hours. So if I look at this date here, the minutes and the seconds part will be struck off and we say that the date has been truncated up till this point. So this is what is going to happen with the date value. So let us revert back to our demo and see how it applies. So this is the year date value. Remember, if you make a selection from any of these, these are the date values that you can select. So if I go on to quarter, you can see that we have Q1 of 2011, we have Q2 of 2011, we have Q3 of 2011 and we have Q4 of 2011. Likewise for 2012, you have Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. Likewise for 2013, Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. You can select any other date value as well, month. So it will be year and month which will be taken into consideration. The rest of the date parts will be truncated. So you can see that here we have it for January. Then we have February of 2011, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October here, November and December. Likewise from here to here you will have it for 2012 and so on. The exact date is simply the exact date. There is absolutely no truncation to it. So the date will appear as is. Now this was about discrete and continuous. So usually when you make a selection from the date value, the default is continuous, but you can always change that to discrete as well. You just learned about dates in Tableau.